Hello, welcome to the next Ale Degustation. This time I have a beer, collaboration beer, uh, between uh, Brudok and Evil Twin. Well, it already sounds fantastic. Uh, but uh, the style description is just uh, even more fantastic. Uh, it's called Roaster Coaster Nitro Imperial Vietnamese Coffee Stout. It sounds lovely. It's 9% ABV. It sounds lovely as well. Uh, it's a very unusual um, volume of the can. 402. And what they say. Roaster Coaster. Uh, Columbus and Copenhagen Twin for a wonderful, wonderful milk stout. Yeah, Evil Twin is has two bases in Copenhagen and in uh, uh, United States. So yes, a transatlantic road trip uh, uniting the states and the kingdom. A buckle up for a bittersweet ride. Darker than Evil. Evil and smoother than a late short host. The chocolate, bitter espresso and vanilla aromas right up front. A closely tailgated by roasty no nutty notes. Oats and wheat round things out with nitro delivering a supersonic smooth ride. Roasted coaster ride again. Again, yes. Um, um, too many languages, very small print. Ingredients, water, malted barley, oats, lactose, wheat, coffee, yeast, natural vanilla flavoring, cocoa nibs and hops. Okay. They used a lot of uh, different uh, different they used many different molds uh, brown, carafat, chocolate wheat, flaked oats, munich, pale, medium crystal IBU is about, is about 25 and it's a single hop beer. They used Chinook. Okay, so introduction is uh, already behind us. Let's open it. Oh, this is a nice feature. There are different states here uh, with different prices for a can. So, yeah. Okay, let's open it. Oh. This is nice. This is creamy. This is nitro. It's very, very dark brown beer. There are some very slight, lighter brown um, notes just on the bottom. Very dense, creamy, uh, brown, light brown head. Tiny bubbles. Really, it looks fantastic. Uh, wow. Aroma, it's delicate. Coffee, some milk chocolate, uh, quite creamy, sweet. Yeah, like a sweet coffee. Uh, maybe even, uh, you know, cappuccino, something like this. Very nice. Let's have a try. Uh, 
I like it. I like it. It's um, it's not too thick. It's creamy, yes, but delicate, with um, quite stro strong roastiness. Coffee, vanilla, uh, milk chocolate, and lots of roastiness in um, bitterness. Loads. Some chocolate liquor taste. But it's not heavy and it's not too sweet. I like it, it's very drinkable. Uh, of course, it is a much heavy beer, uh, so you have to treat it with respect. But it's not too heavy. Uh, well, nice. Some soury notes as well but everything is like a um, milky sweet a uh, little bit you know if you will take a consistency of uh, Irish cream but a little bit lighter sweetness alcohol coffee mixed together in so, uh, on some point I was thinking about cold brew as well right so, so different coffees uh, and some nice roastiness well nice and very very creamy experience nice beer nice beer uh, I think it's worth to pay you know price in the in in Tesco for this it's nice well I think it is a good collaboration beer what to try definitely unless someone doesn't like stouts and dark beers uh, because this is quite roast, roasty um, very nice I like it so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed this video, so please like it, please subscribe to my channel and when you've done it already, hit the, hit the notification button and share above the bell, it will remind you of every new video on the channel, so you will be up to date and because of this you will not miss any new audio stations. Cheers!